told Greg I brought a frog along with us. He looked at me like I was nuts. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out if he means an actual real life frog or some toy or, you know, with us and you know. <laughs> right. <laughs> I know, it's true. You just never know with Dustin. I know, it's true. Okay, what could this frog possibly be? This is a clue. Are you watching? This is a clue. This is a clue. Okay, I'm gonna tell you now. Just told Greg I brought a frog along with us. He looked at me like I was nuts. So, <clears throat> Chris Reinhardt sent me a gift. Not, not, nuts. And, um, yeah, I mean, how cool. It's just so awesome. So, I'm just so overjoyed by a sticker, yes. The little things in life, you know, but the fact that someone would take it, the time to send it, wow. Dude, that is so freaking cool. That is gonna make an awesome noise. Dude, thank you so much. That's awesome. Oh, holy cow, look at this. I am just... This makes, this more than makes my day, man. Thank you so much. Awesome, thank you. Hey, you bring a little amphibious creature and it's alive, and that throws up a reaction to pick that. Sure, okay. It was a hour and a half long video, so. But yeah, we have a frog. Interesting thing about this frog is that it riveted, like that, on its own, in the office. The same office where my computer went berserk and did all kinds of weird demonized type crap. It wasn't like a normal computer acting up going crazy, just feel something else was going on. You know, right before my computer went <laughs> and like screamed at me. It was really weird. Totally normal. Oh yeah, those are part of the glitches in the system. <laughs> so that same office, anyway, we'll see. It's not an actual live frog, but it somehow made the noise on its own at me. I don't know. And uh, it's been in a Native American casino, you know, so it's pretty cool. And then it's been all over in his Bigfoot woods up there. So it's got these strong potential spiritual ties to it. See, now that's cool. That has a whole new element that I wasn't aware of. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. This is for a camera you can put on your backpack. That is just so cool. And I get creative, as, as everybody knows, so I can, you know, find other other places to use that and have the camera mounted, that's just so sweet. I'm just, I'm just, yeah, beyond words. It's just freaking awesome. This little guy. White? White or purple? All right, so yeah, one of each. Woohoo! No music. And that doesn't say Pepsi. I guess I'm glad to see it's not a live frog. Frog's like, what are you talking about? Oh, right, good job, good luck. All right, good job. All right. I don't want to be looking at you fools all the way. All right, sorry. Here you go. Now he's talking about how he doesn't want to look through your cracked windshield. Fix your windshield, fool. Fix your windshield, fool. What are you, some ghetto? YouTube guys out here, yeah, huh? That's because, you know, we're making lots of money on these. <laughs> Jeez, don't even get me started. Oh, thank you very much to our one Patreon person who supports the heck out of us. I really do appreciate it. I mean, we just got gas, drinks to go do this. You are very much appreciated. So much that it's like beyond words. So, anyway, you know who you are. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Yep, it's gonna be one of those days. Nice Jeep. Dumbass. Guys, believe it or not, we're totally fine with our one Patreon because we have dignity. We're not gonna go sell ourselves out. We're not gonna beg for money, you know, support the channel when it's actually just money going right into our pockets. We're not gonna do it. We're totally fine with our one Patreon. We love her. Thank you. Well, it looks like we're probably not gonna be able to even park, but we'll see. Come around a corner like this, it looks okay. Go around another corner and it's a foot of snow. Two 
feet of snow there. Two feet of snow there. The two feet of snow. A little bit. Of the two feet of the, um, the two feet of snow. All right, we were able to park. So I'm just getting some batteries out because I'm not. We're just checking on our gifts. We're just checking on our gifts. This isn't the big location. I don't even bring in both cameras, just one for right now. This is what else Chris Reinhardt sent us, so a big thank you on that. It was very cool. Okay, I guess I might as well take this. Holy cow, that's heavy. Nice and sunny here, but it's not the case in those trees. You want your drink? No, I just had a little bit. Cause we're not staying here. Okay. What's that white thing I see over there? Is that snow? Yeah, on a stump, on a tree stump. Snow back there is three feet by the parking lot, so I don't know. All we're doing here is checking gifts and then going to the river location, but I don't know if we're able to even check gifts is what we're trying to see. We're not set up with snow pants and snowshoes obviously right now. Yeah, just walk all over people. <laughs> like, what the hell is this person? Yeah. They're walking backwards, they're walking forward, they're walking side by side. <laughs> yeah. So, we'll get a fire going when we get to the less hell location and get our shoes dried out. I tried keeping all the carabiners away from this water jug, but this water bottle the wife got me is 40 freaking ounces. It's just ridiculously huge. You can feel it like swaying you back and forth. Cause she's like, you always have these, you always have these little ones. It's like, yeah, but we have a bunch of little ones kind of for a reason. Yeah, we're gonna have to fix it, I guess. It's really annoying me. Top of this. So there's no other tracks in here, so. Yep. Okay. Yep. Water bottles are fing annoying. Jeez. Nope, not 
trying to slide to be dramatic. I hate when it's snowing. I hate after it's snowed. I hate the melting snow. I hate the frozen snow, the slushy snow. It's white, it's bright, gives you a headache. I hate every thing about it. I, uh, I get the impression you don't really like snow. I mean, unless you're doing some skiing, snowboarding, sledding, yeah. Right, and I, I like, I enjoy skiing. I hate the snow so bad though, that I really don't. Yeah, so that's what I figured. So, I don't know that our sticks were together touching. That's a subtle ass changement, but I'm just saying, I don't remember the two sticks touching like that. Were they? We'll check, I guess, the footage. Yeah, because I didn't have to go back too much. But we do so much of this, it's so hard to recall all that. They might have been. Well, so do we care? Everything's the same. Yep. Peanut butter's there, rotting pumpkin. Yep. Okay. I mean, it's as far as the, the pumpkin's gone, but everything else is like leaving it in the fridge. So, might as well just leave it. I brought more stuff, but I mean, this is, I, I knew this, I just, you had to, you had to tell everybody else, you know, you had to show. So let's get the hell out of this crap. I'm not gonna leave more gifts. And I'll spare you all the cussing and yelling and sliding of this. So yeah, bye. All right, I just fixed the backpack. We're heading out. Nobody's here. The reason no one's here is because it's a fucking nightmare with this shit on the ground. That's why nobody's here. There's no knocking sounds. There's some zoom in footage for you, but like I said, nobody's home. And if this was my home, I would just want to get the hell out of it too. So where do they go? I don't know, but I don't know that we could have made a, <laughs> it's not going to be easier any other direction. No, it's terrible. I, I know it's terrible and I knew it would be like this, and that's fine. Just well, get it over with. Really. So walking in and out, we're going in circles. We're walking all around, going around rocks, around trees, up to little cliffs, turning around, walking backwards. We're just making it a little less easy to follow <laughs> yeah like that all right where's he going okay we were joking like okay these guys are definitely tripping mushrooms I just pulled over to get some reception and I made a few phone calls and left my damn headlights on. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. It's his car. I'm glad to help. I don't know if he has jumper cables. Oh, yeah. No sweat. If you can, that's great. If not, I'll come back later. I only live down the road a half mile in the cabin. Really? Yeah. Which? I'll walk out of the cabin and come back later, but... You don't know, like, Wilson, Nina, Marvin, old people in the uh, area up there? No, oh. I don't. I live right down here in Pine Nook. I know the whole gang down there. Yeah. Right on. Yeah, actually, uh, I brought my booster with me, so. Oh, cool, yeah. do you mind? I'm right down here yeah, on the left. No that little, like. That store right there? Yeah. The store ain't been open for 25 years. You pull in there, there's a sign that says coffee, hot coffee. Yeah. 
that's on there. That's place they've been open for 25 years. And when it used to be open, they had like a pack of potato chips and a couple fish. Yeah, stores. nothing. But I'm Someone... right directly across the hill, that top cabin. Okay. Not the, you know the junkyard guy? Yeah, he's got shoes hanging in the tree. Yeah, and the... he's my next door neighbor. I'm that, okay. I'm that driveway with the two uh, well, that's awesome. mailboxes. Can we bug you real quick? I just have a question. Yeah. Like we come up here actually investigating Bigfoot is what oh. we honestly do. <laughs> is that because right? Because there's weird stuff happening up there here. There is weird shit out here. Yeah. Tell, you know about the Randalls gang, right? No. Oh, we'll get to that in a minute. Go okay. on. I, well, I was just going to say, I've always wanted to talk to some of the locals up here. Yeah. Because I know everybody down here. I have friends and stuff down here, but I've never known anyone up here. Oh, it's nice. And as far man. as they're, you know. It's so nice. I can direct you guys so much good access to there's a trail. Really? At, you go up to and then yeah. you pull over and then there's a pay area. Before you get to the pay area, okay. there's a little pull-off part, part like this. Yeah. You don't have to pay there. It's the same trail access. Okay. You go up to the top and you can go all the way down over to Chatfield, but if you cut towards park this way yeah that trail goes all the way through these woods to right there the top of that hill nice that's awesome but i tell you the way you guys are going the right way yeah when we get over this way we go over i go way yeah. off in these woods and play fris uh frisbee golf Me okay and my friend and my boys we'll go for two hours back there and just find a spot and play frisbee golf yeah if you go over here there's what we call you know those camel humps yeah then there's the rock garden. Then there's what we call the butt cheeks uh -huh, over here. Uh -huh. And then there's a big old rock way up yonder. But as, yeah. long, as long as you stay this way, you're on public land. You know what's, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what's weird about that big rock up yonder? There's a field goal type looking thing. If you've ever noticed. Oh, I have seen that thing. Right. Yeah. That's the kind of stuff we are, we're looking for because we can, we can go far out in the woods. You know, like we'll go down south, uh, the South Platte and hike up like three miles. Yeah. And we'll see weird stuff like that. So there's weird things going on with the trees. Oh yeah. And then we'll weird. get, see we bring this because we do this. Where are you guys from? Knocking sound here. Here, here. here okay. Yeah, I grew up here, little tin. I, tell, I felt a damn earthquake up here a while back. I'll tell you, no kidding. Really? My dog goes off at different things. You know, uh -huh. I'm, I'm open to all kinds of stuff. Yeah. But the other one is the Randalls gang stashed 20 grams worth of gold coins. Huh. Just you keep going over this hill right here. Nice. And they got away in like the 1920s. And they, this is no, you type it in, you look it up. Uh -huh. Look it up. Look up the Randalls gang. Okay. And they'll give you a kind of direction. But what happened, the fellow was on the run and he stashed a thousand, $20,000 worth of gold coin back in the 1920s. A million bucks now. Right. Oh, yeah. Gold, solid gold yeah. coins back wow. there. Wow. Yeah. yeah, he had stashed them up there. And then he got thrown in the, his boys got killed or something like that. And he, one of them ended up in the pokey. But when he got back out, the damn forest fire had blown through there, and anything he recognized was gone. Wow! And they got the yield this could cruising. still be there. Everybody goes up these all these rock collectors because yeah. it's kind of a gem area where they look for gems. Well, that's what we do. Oh, <laughs> we rock hound. Yeah. That's what yeah. we're rock hounds. That's oh. what started it. We I come gotcha. up here rock hounding, and something broke a tree, ah. <sighs> a big ass tree. Yeah. And I'm like, what the heck was that? And then weird stuff continues to happen, and we post it on YouTube. And uh, Rocky Mountain Sasquatch Organization, yeah. it's like BFRO, RMSO, yeah, okay. they contact us and they say, hey, we know what this is, believe so it or not, do? They're, they're Bigfoot in the area, and we didn't even believe in it, but, so this is knocking, Yeah. and you'll listen, and they'll knock back. Oh, is that right? Yeah, and it happens. No they're, kidding. They don't seem to be around with all this snow, and we don't know why, but come, <laughs> come April, uh, you know, June, whatever, uh, we, we, we can meet up again and you can come with us and we can show you some crazy dude you go to the bottom of this hill yeah and those two there's a rusty mailbox and a black mailbox yeah and then you'll see a uh you come in and there's a rickety old cabin that you don't even want to get near it yeah uh -huh. and then there's another little cabin i use for storage and then the top of the hill is my cabin okay yeah all right on but i know about this area plenty man there is up in this way too you yeah know? yeah there's a lot of missing people too the missing 411 oh, we uh We've kind of touched base on some of that too. There's a lot of missing people in the national parks. Is that right? 1,600 people missing actually. No kidding. Missing, like like a hunter or a fisherman or hikers, they usually know what they're doing. Like yeah. I got a backpack full of survival shit. Yeah. You don't just go missing. Yeah, and we have 1,600 people missing right now in our national parks. And the news doesn't tell you about it. Well, I'll tell you what, you'd be surprised. You know, I, I, I call this Reception Hill. Yeah. That's what happened to me. I was just, yeah. I needed the cabin. I don't the, have no service. So I come up phone. here and I left my damn headlights on <laughs> while I was making my calls. That's why I need to jump. Yeah. But I typically, on a nice day, I just, it's a 20 minute walk to get up here. Okay. And man, yeah. man, I don't even want to tell you about some of the 
weird yeah. shit I seen back here, but yeah, it's we, cool, man. Sometimes you come to too. my place, I'll walk down there and show you that. Okay. But that's a mind blower, man. Yeah, it we tell stories on its own. We pick place. up trash up here, and every now and then we see some weird people too, and it's like it's just unfortunate. But that's why we don't we don't film much here. We just park here and get out. Hey, I don't want to eat up your whole day, though, fellas. We're up here for the day. We'll, we'll take you down there, though. Time, you know where I'm at. Okay, you know where my cabin's at? Come on, man. I'll get you a cup of coffee, okay. and I'll tell you what I know. You, do you have room? I, I can make room. Make room real okay, quick? Cool. I've been there before. You good? You good? You good? You good? just got to mind all the it's pile of shit. It's all trash. It's all trash. Especially with us being rock hounds, we found we've uh, found pretty awesome crystals back in here. We found a pocket, yeah, which is an opening in the earth, you know, with uh, minerals going on. Right. And we've dug like a hundred crystals out of here. This is my favorite. When I come up, when I hike out of my cabin without having to go nowhere, uh -huh. I got all the directions I want. This is my favorite way to go. I come up here to Reception Hill, cross the road right where you guys were, and I go up that way because you can hike as far as you want. Yeah. Yeah, man, we've been coming up here. Well, for, for three years we've been doing this kind of research anyway. Yeah. You know, I've been coming up here since I could drive. Um, it's weird stuff, man. Well, like, one of the weirdest things that's happened is uh, leaving our backpacks, you know, and all of our gear when yeah. we're digging. And we'll just go on a little walk for a little while. And we'll come back and someone has taken three big boulders, big size rocks, and moved them. You could see where they were moved from about 5, 10, 15 feet away and stacked them on top of each other in the middle of all our shit. Is that right? And we're in the middle of freaking nowhere. There's no other cars there. Right. Weird stuff like that. Like stuff you cannot even explain and you wouldn't even believe it unless you were there. Dang. Well, I tell you, I'm not kidding you. A while back, I felt an earthquake up here. Wow. I felt like an earthquake and I... You know, you bring it up, nobody wants to talk about that stuff, you know? Your battery spray in the front. I felt it. I'm just going to say it wasn't no booster. thunder. Oh, yeah, He's booster. got the pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It wasn't thunder or nothing like, or nothing like earthquake, that. Earthquake, yeah. A, it was a shaking earth. Wow. Yeah. Conspiracy people saying, oh, that's the, you know, the weather manipulation and... Right. Who knows, man, these days. That's <laughs> uh, funny. Uh, so where do you guys live? I live in Castle, Castle Rock. Rock. Oh, okay. You know. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, I'm a guitar player. I'm going to be playing down there in a few weeks down at that. Uh, oh, nice. The wide open door. saloon? No, the wide open I'm working on getting into, but they moved back the opening date because. Uh, yeah, they're lazy. Con screw them up. Slow contractors, it looks like, too. Yeah, definitely, man. They're <laughs> taking the time on it. I know. We keep driving by and we're like, oh, look, they got another brick put in. Oh, uh, right. I know. It's been so slow, but they, they're they pretty close when I've been inside it looks, now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It looks cool. So I'm going to play in there, too, but um, I'm going to have some gigs down here at that next door. I'm talking to Skyler right now. In fact, you guys live in Old Town? Um, No. Oh, uh, do you ever go in that place, the next door, the, the Castle Cafe? I haven't, actually. Sweet. That's good. This thing wouldn't start my truck. I doubt it. It died. This thing doesn't take much. Like I say, typically I'll come back in an hour or two. Yeah. If I just would have walked up the hill and let it rest for a couple hours, it'll yeah. have enough to juice this thing. That's, that's all right. Maybe it was for a reason, you know? Yeah. It's always man. cool to talk to people up here. Hell yeah. Well, now you know a local right up there. What was your name? Rondo. Rondo. All right. Yeah. I'm Dustin. That's I'm going to give you one of my Greg. cards and show you my, uh, yeah, my man. website here. All right. We'll come, we'll come down there. We'll even put you on our YouTube channel. Do that, man. How oh, cool. So it's Sweet. funny, dude, because before I was leaving, uh -huh. I, I had just taken in all the stuff that I have for chains, for uh, pole straps, for all of that, toe straps, whatever. Yeah. Um, the jumper, all of it, taking it out, and it was in, because I used the service van before leaving, and like, I was literally the last second was like, oh, crap. Went and grabbed all that, brought nice. it, put it in here because then I was Good. like, oh, it could be snowing. So I was like, yeah, I need to make sure I have all this. Da da da. We could get stuck. Battery might, you know. So that was good. So with those things, you got to charge them. You know. Right, like every. It's supposed to be like every yeah. uh, thirty days or whatever. I plug mine in just whenever I happen to remember. Maybe two or three times a year. Maybe a little bit more. I'll just plug it in, charge it up. No, that was pretty. Uh, that's pretty cool. I mean, it seems like that. Hondo. It always happens. Yeah. You know, we, we get done with something and get disappointed, let's say, you know, with nothing happening up there. Yeah. Um, come that's, back and that's then, awesome. You know, we got this cool, like, you know, story, cool conversation. 
Yeah, when I was hiking back, my feet are like wet and I just, you know, you, we didn't hear any knocking. The gifts are still there. I'm like, whatever, this, this is all crap. I'm not even going to talk. I'm just going to do a kumbaya type moment and I'm going to be quiet and I'm just going to take it in and see what happens. And then we run into Rondo. So, yeah, this is the one. There's the shoes hanging up. That's so cool, dude. Oh, man, I've always wanted to know these people and now we know Rondo. So there's a shovel leaning up against the tree. This kind of stuff we start to notice. Heck yeah. All right, let's do a breaking video here since it's 14 minutes.